This is a CPM machine. CPM machine is a continuous passive motion machine for a post-operative procedure, usually to aid the patient after knee or joint surgery. When we come to your CPM machine, you would have garments that are delivered. The garments are single item patient use only. After every patient, you want to use a new garment. With your garments here, there would be an instructions on the inside of the garment bag as to how to attach the actual garment to the machine after their femur length and calf length adjustments are made. That we will go into detail within a few minutes at a later time. First, we would like to talk about the features of the CPM machine and how to make your adjustments. What we have here is the base of the CPM machine. You always want to make sure the CPM machine is placed on a sturdy um, environment so that it is patient ready and safe for the patient to use. This is the control foot plate and control pendant um, storage place. This is the actual pendant here. The control pendant is highly durable. It will not damage if it were to fall on the floor. It is also water uh, proof. If it were to submerge in water, it will not damage it as well. All user input and feedback is done with your remote pendant. Now, for calf length adjustments, you have adjustment knobs here that you would want to loosen to be able to adjust your foot plate for your calf length measurement. Your calf length can come in between 10 inches all the way up to 23.5 inches. The next adjustment knob that you can see are on the back side here where you would make your femur length adjustment. You would do so by loosening these adjust knobs as well and then sliding this down to the correct femur length adjustment. We do have a number setting here on the back that will allow you to adjust in centimeters correctly. Make sure both sides are adjusted to the proper centimeter adjustment for the femur length and then tighten as needed to secure it in the proper position. Back to the forward end, we also have two adjust knobs on your foot plate to be able to adjust the angle of the foot plate as the patient's foot is resting in the CPM machine garment. Once you have the desired angle, you may tighten your knobs to make sure they are secured in place. Once your calf length adjustment is made, you may also adjust your knobs to make sure they are also secured in place. To activate your remote pendant and to power your CPM machine, of course it is electrical so you do need a grounded electrical outlet for proper and safe function. Next to your power cord where it is connected to the base of your CPM machine is where your power button will be. As you power your power button on, that's when your remote pendant will initialize and actually display the current angle displayed for the patient or the CPM machine. Before starting the therapy, of course, we would need to take all measurements, make the, uh, adjustments for your measurements, and then attach your garments to the machine. So we would remove our garments from our plastic. This first piece of garment here is an adjuster garment to be able to secure the patient's leg to the machine as it's resting in the garment. This garment here is your foot garment. It does have a pocket on the back side so you can slide that onto your foot plate. You have three straps. One strap will strap over the top to secure the patient's foot in place. The other two straps will strap to the body of the actual CPM machine. One to the left side, one strap to the right side. Okay. You do have the larger garment here, okay? This section here, the diamond shape, should be the section that is always behind the patient's knee. If you look on the back side of your garment, you have six straps. 
three on each side. You have two smaller straps and one wider strap. When you align this up with your CPM machine, this cutout of this machine should go with the angle of where the patient's knee would be bending. If you pos position that there, then you have your short strap here and a short strap there. You would unvelcro the strap and strap that around that side back to the garment. Once you do to one side, you will as well do to the other side. Then you have a smaller piece of garment here, which will be placed on the back side of the machine under the thigh support bar in order to give the patient a little more comfort when they're actually resting their leg in the machine, in the CPM garment. As we said, the first piece of garment would be to be able to secure the patient's thigh and leg in place once it's in the machine. This will strap from one side over the other side to secure the patient's leg. As such. So now that your garment is attached to your CPM machine, your measurements have been made, all the adjustments to your machine have been made for calf lengths and femur lengths, then you may go ahead and move over to your remote pendant and start to set your remote pendant parameters for your extension and flexion. As you look at your remote pendant, the features of your remote pendant have your LCD display screen, which will display a few items. You have four buttons here, an up and down arrow, then you have a white patient comfort zone button and a red start and stop button. Starting from this side here, this top button would be the button that you would use to make any adjustments for your extension angle. The second one down would be the button that you would use in order to make any adjustments to your flexion angle. The third one down there would be the button that you would use in order to make any adjustments to your speed. The fourth one down would be able to allow you to set a time delay on either your extension or your flexion if you wish to delay a certain rest period for the patient in that certain position or angle. Your up and down arrows will allow you to make any adjustments up and down when making your adjustments to any of your functions. Your start and stop button all the way at the bottom will start and stop the action at any time. Anytime you start or stop the action, the next time you restart the action, it will go in the opposite direction from once it was stopped. Here at the top of your up and down arrows, you have a small arrow with a little pinhole. This pinhole is the pinhole that you would use in order to reset your pendant to set it up for a new patient and clear all memory and cycles from prior use. You may do so by taking a paper clip, pressing the reset button down, as you're depressing the reset button, pressing your mode button to reset all parameters. Now that you have reset your remote pendant, you may go ahead and adjust any functions for the new patient. Now, in order to adjust any functions, you will need to hold your button down and while keeping the button depressed, use your up and down arrows to make your adjustments. Okay? Your range of motion for your CPM machine is from negative 10 degrees up to 120 degrees. 
So if you can see here, we will move our extension down to a negative 10 degrees. The next one down is your flexion button. In order to make an adjustment on your flexion angle, you would want to press and keeping your flexion button depressed, use your up and down arrows to make your adjustments to your proper flexion angle required. In this instance, we'll use 75 as an example. The next one down is your speed. Since we are dealing in degrees for, of angles, your speed is in degrees per minute. It can go from 30 degrees per minute up to 150 degrees per minute. Your next one down is your time delay. If you press your time delay by itself, it will display if you have any time delay set on either extension or flexion. In order to set a delay on either extension or flexion, you would have to use a combination of buttons. With that being said, if you want to set the time delay on your extension, you would hold your extension button and your delay button down, keeping it depressed at the same time, and then use your adjustment arrows to be able to adjust your delay seconds anywhere from 0 seconds to 30 seconds. And in this instance, we'll put a delay of 5 seconds. You may also do the same delay sequence for your flexion angle. And you would do the same as to set your flexion delay by pressing your flexion button down while pressing your delay button down and then using your adjustment arrows to manipulate your up and down adjustments from 0 to 30 seconds. Okay. Once you have set your extension, in this case negative 10, flexion 75 degrees, a speed of 150 degrees per minute, and a delay of 5 seconds on your extension and your flexion, if that is the prescribed therapy, uh, setting for your patient, then you may go ahead and start and stop your treatment. And you may do so by pressing the red button here at the bottom. You can see the pendant, it is now at 75 degrees and it is resting at the top for 5 seconds. Now it is extending to the extension position and it will go down to the negative 10 degrees of hyperextension that is pro programmed setting on your remote pendant. And when it gets to that point, once again it will delay for another 5 seconds as set. As you can see, her CPR machine is functioning, exercising the patient's knee in an extension and flexion motion. We said this is your extension button, flexion button, speed, time delay, up and down adjustments, start and stop in patient comfort zone. As we said, if we start or stop our machine, by pressing our red button, it will stop it at any time. The next time we go to start our machine, if we were to press our start button again, it will move in the opposite direction. So now the machine is in going into the flexion angle, pre-programmed for 75 degrees of flexion. Say approximately at 65 degrees, the patient feels pain. They can activate your patient comfort zone by pressing that button. When activating your patient comfort zone, it will immediately reverse the position of your CPM machine for the patient. At that time, now it will cycle from your negative 10 degrees up to 5 degrees less than where you have pressed your patient comfort zone. For example, since we have pressed our patient comfort zone at 65 degrees, our CPM machine will now go from negative 10 degrees flexion up to 60 degrees of flexion and continue in that fashion for five cycles. After the fifth cycle is complete, then the CPM machine will start to increase one degree per cycle until it reaches the 
prescribed setting of 70 deg 75 degrees of flexion. As you can see, the extension from the flexion in the patient comfort cycle, it will only increase to the 60 degrees as we had goes to five degrees less than the, where you had depressed the patient comfort zone. Let's take a moment and stop the machine so we may go over some other features of your remote pendant. If you move to the top side of your LCD here, you have four buttons. This first button is your mode button or mode selector. You would use this button in order to activate any of the three special mode functions. The first mode button here is called your fastback button. What fastback function will do will slow the CPM machine down within the last 15 degrees of the flexion range of motion so that more time is spent in the flexion range of motion where it is most needed and less time is spent in the extension position where the patient's leg is going back to the extended point. To activate your progressive range of motion, you would hold your mode button down and then press your progress, uh, press your fastback button until the light is illuminated. Once the light has been illuminated, that notifies you, the user, that the function has been activated. To deactivate the function, you would use the same process. Hold your mode button down. At the same time, press your mode button to deactivate the mode which selected. Your second mode here is called your oscillation zone. With your oscillation zone, it will allow you to exercise the patient's leg within the last 10 degrees of the range of motion. For example, if the range of motion is set from negative 10 extension to 75 degrees of flexion, within the last 10 degrees of flexion from 65 degrees to 75 degrees, your oscillation function will oscillate the leg within that range of motion three times. Meaning, it, every cycle, it will go from negative 10 degrees, increasing to 75 degrees, down to 65 degrees, up to 75 degrees, down to 65 degrees, up to 75 degrees, down to 65 degrees, before extending back to the full extended position. And that is your oscillation mode function. To deactivate your oscillation mode function, you would hold your mode button down and then as well press your oscillation zone button. The last button in your special function is called your progressive range of motion. When activating your progressive range of motion, your pendant will ask you to set a final flexion angle. It will ask you to use your flexion button and then use your up and down arrows to get your desired final flexion. After that has been set, you may press the mode button to save the programming for your progressive range of motion. What the progressive range of motion allows the user to do will progressively increase the range of motion for the patient one de up to one degree per hour with a maximum of five degrees within a 24 hour period day. Your progressive range of motion, uh, we have it set from negative 10 degrees to 75 degrees of flexion. So for the first hour, it will go from negative 10 degrees to 75 degrees of flexion. After that time has elapsed, then it will start to increase one degree per hour, meaning it will go from negative 10 degrees to 76 degrees. After two hours, it will go from negative 10 degrees to 77 degrees and continue in that fashion for a maximum of five degrees in a 24 hour period. To deactivate your range of motion, you would hold your mode button down and press your mode button again to deactivate that. 
Another feature that you may use with your remote pendant is your patient lockout mode. Once your remote pendant has been set to your extension, flexion, speed, and delay if needed, or special mode functions to be locked in and used, you may go ahead and press the up arrow and the mode button and keep those depressed for three seconds and that will activate patient lockout mode. With patient lockout mode activated, it will not allow the patient to make any manipulations or adjustments to the actual remote pendant. They will only be able to use your start and stop. Start it. Stop it. Okay. And you may be able to use your patient comfort zone. So these are the only two buttons that will be active for the patient if the patient lockout mode is enhanced. To deactivate the patient lockout mode, you would use the same method by holding your up arrow down and holding your mode button down simultaneously for three seconds until your patient lockout mode is disabled. So if, you were, if you were to get an incorrect display on your remote pendant or your remote pendant is not functioning correctly, you may want to check your remote connection. You may do so by following your remote wire to this connection here, which has a twist lock, male and female connections. They do separate and disconnect, so that is one position that you would like to check for remote function or pendant function. As well as here at the base of your CPM machine, there is another connection there. You want to check both connections and make sure they are both tightened and secured. If both connections for your remote pendant are tightened and secured and still your remote pendant is displaying an angle that is not possible by the machine or your remote pendant is not functioning, there may be a problem with your position sensor error here. Okay. If the position sensor error here is malfunctioning, your machine may also give you a position sensor error. Another adjustment that you may be able to make for patients of shorter lengths, like for instance a pediatric patient, you may remove your foot garment from your foot plate, you would want to loosen the adjust knobs for the angle of the foot plate, loosen the adjust knobs for the length of the calf, completely remove this section from your CPM machine as such. At this time you will completely turn this 180 and then reinsert this back into the CPM machine. Tighten your adjust knobs to secure that in place and then once you get your desired angle of your foot plate, adjust that as well and secure that in place. Now if you look, once you turn it 180 you will have the adjust knob for the foot plate at the bottom of the patient's foot. You will want to release that knob to remove the foot plate and turn it back on the other side, reinsert it, and then retighten. Okay. Now, if you looked here, you have just banged approximately three more inches to your calf length for a shorter patient. After readjusting your foot plate for pediatric use, you may then reattach your foot garment and then restrap your garment to the sides of the CPM machine. As well as the position error sensor here may be possibly giving you a bad reading. At the beginning, upon initial setup, when making adjustments for your femur length or calf length okay. if your starting position is too hyperextended past the 
the range of motion of your actual CPM machine, you will have a position sensor error display as such. In order to correct that position error sensor, you can go ahead and make sure you make your femur length readjustments, raise the CPM machine to a proper position. After it is at a proper position, then you may go ahead and secure your adjustment knobs for your femur length to secure them in place. Okay. Then you may power off. So I will power off. Remote pendant is off. Then you power back on. So if you look, we have made our adjustments. We have powered off and powered back on. And now our remote pendant is currently displaying the current angle. And the position error sensor has gone away. If at all you experience no display on your CPM machine pendant, first place you should always check is your source of power. And you, it will, may unplug from your base here as such. So you always want to make sure your power cord is firmly connected into your base. As well as connected into a proper grounded electrical outlet receptacle. 